Okay, let's go ahead and cover the categories tab. Um, categories would be similar to and the same as your um, categories and or catalog structure uh, like, like you have over here in the MRP side. So let's say you're going to add a new product catalog that or a category of stuff called um, uh, appliance hoods or uh, say you want to add a grouping of something you want to sell that, that isn't in the main that isn't in the template catalog. So click on view. That's going to bring you in here to this kind of uh, th this view here. Um, so as you can see, these are these are the categories, and um, you're welcome to break these out however you'd like. A uh, couple of basic settings we'll go over here. You can see that you can drag them up or down, uh, place them in the order you'd want them to. Uh, to get them to be similar to your catalog structure like you have over in your MRP system. Uh, so say you'd like to add a category, just click on add category and uh, click that drop down and hit edit and um, say you want to add, you can, you can call this whatever you'd like. Uh, give it both a code and a name, typically those are the exact same. Um, how you want them to filter in that grouping and then how you want them to display. Uh, pr pretty simple. Uh, and then whether you want the code, the name, and whether it's a main setting. Now what this is referring to is in, uh, in your 3D instance, whether or not that is going to be in your product set or in your room level settings. So that's saying whether it's going to be here as a category or whether it's going to be here in your catalog set. That's what that main setting function is. So if it's a main setting, it's going to be here. And if not, it will be here. Um, then you're going to hit OK. And inside of that, you can then start adding groupings or sub, you know, subcategories. Same kind of function here, uh, or you can click on edit. Now hide by default is um, whether or not it's going to show the name or or not, expanded or not. So uh, for example, in this one, I don't have a subgrouping, but you could have a subgrouping and they would either be just a title and you would click on it to open the products or not. So. Uh, it, it really just depends on how many clicks you want someone to experience. Um, once you make any changes here, then you're just gonna you make sure to hit save. Um, now in your 3D designer, you're not going to see those changes until you have um, reset your cache. Now your gateways. When you're doing any structural stuff where you're changing things, you're going to, want to do it via the admin gateway. So if you look at, um, once you've made changes, please forgive me here. Once you've made changes in your categories, uh, you'll need to hit save and then open up the 3D gateway under the admin and hit reset cache. As soon as you reset your cache, then you will see it will it will spin. I'll show you that. It will reset the cache. You'll get a clean screen, and your values will then be showing up from here. Now, when you create new products, we'll go over your product catalog later, but those will show up then as options to place in something. So, for example, right now I don't have this cabinet placed in any category, say I wanted it to show up here in these oven cabinets, I would just drag it in, hit save, and then come and reset my cache as I just did, and that product would then show up inside of that category. Um, so once I've done any changes, if I wanted to add that oven cabinet, I'd hit save changes over on that other side. I would reset the cache and then that cabinet would now show up. So that's how you manage um, 
that's how you manage your groupings. Now, the other thing is um, when you're adding appliances or any of those other items, which we'll cover in a different space, uh, where that shows up inside of the designer is dependent on these. And you'll need to drag and drop those assets inside of the catalog where you want them to appear. Hit save, clear your cache, and those items will then be refreshed for all of your gateways. And so that is a brief overview of the categories structure.